Fathers of Reddit who have actually denied a request for their daughter's hand in marriage. What happened? I had a friend ask his girlfriend's parents. They didn't say no. They said you've only been together a year. We think it's too soon. He asked her a week later anyway. Safe to say they are no longer together. I'm not the dad, but the boyfriend who asked. He said no. Said he didn't think I was ready, and that I would hurt her in some way. Unbeknownst to him, it wasn't going to be a surprise proposal to his daughter and the two of us had been discussing our wedding for months already. She just felt it proper to ask him as a courtesy, a matter of respect. Funny story, I asked her dad to go on an outing with me in the evening, and I made the mistake of asking him on our way there. He gave the answer no so quickly, and the rest of the evening was for working awkward. I had to man up something fierce, until we were done. LPT, when asking her dad for his daughter's hand in marriage, do it when you have a reasonable out in case he says no. When I told her what her dad had said, she got pissed. We decided that we were going to get married anyway, but out of respect, we would postpone our wedding by one year. By that time we had been dating for around two, five years, and planned to have a wedding in six months. I proposed as planned, and we set a date for one. Five years later, we didn't get around to telling her parents all this, because I proposed on her birthday, and her parents threw her a birthday party that evening. All her extended family was there, so we planned on telling them in private, after the party. Her parents saw her ring on her finger, but are the type to not confront problems, so they didn't once say anything to us. But I caught her mom crying in the corner of the yard being consoled by her two aunts over it. We've been together now for 17 years, married for 14, and and have one of the strongest relationships that I know of. Funny story is her parents don't have what I'd call a marriage. They basically just coexist. TL. Doctor. Her dad said no. She said yes. Still together and happy after 17 years. Most religious family I know kind of slash sort of approved of their daughter's future husband, but during the wedding planning something went wrong and priest of the parish they both attended objected to something they thought should be a non-issue. So they chose to get married in another parish. Long story short, the bride's parents decided to boycott the wedding. Their relationship with their daughter and son-in-law is now fucked. We are going on over 10 years now and nothing's changed. Another story. Aunt gets invited to niece's wedding. Aunt is also super religious. Niece is not, and is not getting married in the church. Aunt and her sister, second aunt, decide they can't in good conscience attend the wedding. You can imagine the havoc that wreaked on that side of the family. So basically that song Rude by Magic? That poor dad is trying to protect his daughter from a guy who drives a 86 Toyota and works as the singer in a garage band? That's not rude, that's common sense. Luckily, I haven't been in this situation yet, but there wouldn't be much I could do about it. Best I could do, is to put aside some money for a divorce. I didn't ask my now father-in-law. She's not property. I expected him to respect our adult decision, to do adult things and he did. He said it was smart to elope and save money. After a short stint of taking it personally. Not a dad, but when I proposed, my wife's parents are divorced and since remarried. I went to both houses, told them I was going to propose the next day, and would like their blessing to do so. Didn't ask permission, and could see they respected that. Her mom cried out of excitement and her dad was super excited. It's a nice memory I think they have of me. Because you don't have $50 for the marriage license. My American friend met his Japanese girlfriend in grad school in America. She went back to Japan. They maintained a long distance relationship. A few years go by, and she said he should come and ask for her hand in marriage. They both think the parents will say yes, because she's getting to be an old maid by Japanese standards. So he comes, meets the family, get along well. At the end of the trip, he asks the parents for permission to marry their daughter. And they say no. She says, wow, I didn't think they'd say no, but what can I do? Sorry, they broke up, and he went home alone. I married a Muslim girl. Her entire family disowned her and her community ostracized her. I didn't ask her father's permission, but I did try and square things with him, and he went crazy, threatened to kill me, threatened to kill my wife for dishonoring the family etc. Why is the prospective husband asking for the father's permission in the first place? 
she's not his to give or deny. It's nice for a couple that have decided to get married to ask their parents blessing. Maybe, if that fits with their traditions and desires, especially since they are each joining another family through marriage. But the only ones actually deciding on the marriage should be the prospective spouses. Not me but a friend refused to give his blessing for his daughter and her boyfriend. Found out he had a violent past multiple assault arrests, and his siblings and friends also came forward with stories about abuse from him they had endured. They also said they wouldn't go to the wedding. I asked my dad, what would you say if someone asked you if they could marry me? His answer was, I'd say no. You're an adult. I know you'll make the right choice. I love my dad. My grandparents are absolute whack jobs and have very limited contact with the rest of the family. When my now uncle decided he was going to marry their daughter, he thought it would be nice to ask for their blessing. He's a very traditional guy. He called up my grandpa and said, I'm going to ask your daughter to marry me, and I'd like your blessing. My grandpa, of course, said absolutely not. My uncle was surprised by this response, and asked why not? Because I don't know you, my grandpa replied, and hung up the phone. So my uncle decided to call my very introverted and tight-lipped grandfather every single night to talk to him. Not even ask about the marriage just to talk. Finally, on the 8th night, my grandpa was absolutely exacerbated and answered the phone saying, Why do you keep calling me? My uncle said, So you can get to know me and give me a blessing to marry your daughter. I'll stop calling when you feel like you know me. Marry her. And grandpa hung up the phone. My brother asked her parents for her hand in marriage. Her father said nothing. Her mother said, no, because you're only a trapper and you can't afford a family if you're only a trapper. So he went to school and became a welder and asked again, and this time she said yes. Happily married for 25 years now. He hates welding with a passion, but still does a little trapping now and then. My daughter was going into her junior year of college. We have always nurtured open communication and could slash would discuss everything. She popped off with, we'll my boyfriend and I want to get married. I instantly replied with a solid no. I tried to explain that her mother and I had started early and blah blah blah. Divorce, hate and discontent. The knee jerk no hung in the discussion like a fart in church. Afterward, I called my best friend to get her on my side and justify my no. She calmly but firmly asked me what I was doing at 20. I was in foreign countries, gulf war, and solo traveled across semi-dangerous countries. I paused, thought about it, and realized what a complete ass clown I had been. I let a couple of days go by, and was going to reach out to my daughter. I texted her and she replied, my boyfriend is going stop by your house. Uck. He came over, and we start to talk. I had made a big pot of clam chowder. We broke bread. He slid a one year, three year and five year plan across the table. I pretended to review them because I couldn't really read them with how choked up I was. We talked for two hours. I had known this young man for three years before this. He was always a wonderful person. That day he approached me with maturity, respect for my daughter, and a plan. They have been married for three years. Both have their degrees and good jobs. My soul is awesome. It's a very archaic idea as it essentially treats women's like chattel. I didn't ask my father-in-law as it was my wife's decision to make. I'm pretty sure if I had he would have told me to ask his daughter lol. I know that a man once asked my granddad's permission to marry his daughter and my granddad's response was something along the lines of what are you asking me for. The fact that you are asking my permission rather than the two of you together telling me means my answer is no. My dad was ecstatic at having my sister marry my bill. When he asked it was a quick yes. He didn't care for the speech he gave my father about he'll love and cherish her. Lol. My, now soon to be, brother-in-law asked my dad for permission to marry my sister. He straight up said no, you haven't proved to me that you will provide for my daughter. I still remember my bill calling me, we've been pretty close since they met, and being like I have no idea what to do here. Turns out, my dad can be a complete shit sometimes, and his response was an e-jerk reaction to the fact that a month or so before that he went to a golf tournament while my sister was home from the hospital after breaking slash tearing a tendon in her foot. 
My sister also had no problem with him going and encouraged him to go because she's a strong self-sufficient woman who doesn't need her husband at her beck and call. It all got sorted out when my sister got involved and I told my dad he was being an idiot. 25 pounds overweight, his eyes were two piss holes in the snow, he had no job, nowhere to live. He looks at me and asks for my daughter's hand in marriage. I looked at this complete bum, rubbed my chin and told him. She's right there in the next room. Tell me how that worked out for yap man. He shuffled off an hour later. Never to be seen again. Umayo. I've not got kids yet, but if someone asked to marry my daughter I would say no out of principle. What sort of creep asks their partner's dad about such a big relationship change? I know it's tradition, but it's a creepy tradition that I hope dies out soon.